family of Kaylee Anthony says they are protecting the three-year-old girl by not visiting her mother Casey in jail. The latest visit was scheduled for this morning by her brother Lee. Craig Lucy leads our big coverage of this big story. And Craig, it's not the first visit that's been canceled. No, it's not. There have been several now. Lee Anthony was supposed to visit his sister at 9 o'clock this morning, but he canceled the visit. And if you remember, Casey canceled a visit with, with him earlier last week. Also, yesterday we were reporting that Kaylee's grandparents were going to go visit with Casey. That was going to be on Sunday night at 9 o'clock. She denied that visit also. So the last time anybody has gone to actually visit K uh, Casey in the Orange County Video Visitation Center was on August 3rd, and that was George Anthony. And he said out of the 45 minutes, a conversation that they had. They basically cried for 43 minutes of that conversation. There was a big development yesterday, and that is that the 5th District Court of Appeals denied Jose Bias, Casey's attorney's motion to lower the bond from $500,000. He wants to get it all the way down to $10,000, and he says that they're going to continue to try to do this, and if that means going to the state Supreme Court, then that's what they're going to do. Casey, of course, is disappointed about this, but they say they are doing this just to protect young Kaylee. If it comes out that they're close, you know, it could bring harm to Kaylee. So we're doing this for Kaylee. What it's not something she wants. She wants to see her family. She wants to talk to her family, but she's willing to sacrifice that for, for Kaylee. Jose Baez says that his client understands that this will be a long legal battle that is just getting started and she will be taking it all in stride. Also, because this bond is at $500,000, the family simply can't afford it. They'd have to pay 10% of that, $50,000. Then they'd have to take their home to use that as collateral, something that they simply cannot do, plus some other of their own personal items if they would like to get their daughter out of jail. Also, another new development is that Cindy Anthony said that Kaylee called the great-grandmother after June 16th. June 16th was the last day that anybody saw or heard from Kaylee, and that is why that is very important. In East Orange County, Craig Lucy, WESH 2 News. And investigators say they are checking every lead that comes into the crime line on the search for Kaylee. Yesterday, a tip led them to a field near the Anthony home. A caller reported a foul odor near Narcusi Road in Lee Vista Boulevard. Investigators, though, say all they found there was a dead animal. Here's a look at the searches of the Anthony home over the course of the investigation. First, back on July 17th, investigators searched the backyard with cadaver dogs. That turned up nothing. Fast forward to uh, August 1st. That's when detectives took out two bags with gas cans inside. Then a third time, CSI workers again swept in and removed more bags. Vice 2 has confirmed those bags contained clothing that Casey had with her when Kaylee disappeared. Finally, last Thursday, crime scene techs took more evidence bags out of the home. We also know that detectives used black lights inside the home looking for evidence of stains. The clothing taken from the home includes three pairs of shirts, uh, pants rather, six shirts, two skirts for a total of 11 items.